hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from brett cooper and it's titled why does the internet despise a normal happy life you guys i'm super excited as always if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about welcome back to the comment section i'm brett cooper so if you spend any amount of time on social media i am sure that you are bombarded with people showing off their lavish ideal lifestyles maybe it's some entrepreneur hustler bro selling you some ebook while he's you know working on a beach and flexing his abs maybe it's some influencer in fashion week maybe it's me traveling whatever i don't know i'm self-aware enough to know that i am not exempt from this so i will include myself in it however even though these videos and these people go viral and their audience you know fawns all over them, their lives are far from the norm. And for a lot of them, that isn't even their normal life, but they are playing pretend for clicks and likes. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I think a lot of people in these audiences can feel like their non-influencer, non-entrepreneur hustler, alpha bro lifestyles are less than. And that should not be the case. Andrew Tate, I can't believe I'm referencing him, but he actually posted about this recently. And he said, everyone is constantly shitting on the common man, normal man with a normal job. The world wouldn't function if everyone was a crypto trading scumbag. These people are more dedicated and disciplined than any Gen. Respect to anyone who gets up and works hard every day. Granted, I don't know if I really think that he believes this, considering that he often insults the normal man and calls him, you know, brokey, but this did start an interesting conversation online. And more and more, I am seeing normal content taking off. It is a breath of fresh air for people. They feel seen. And let's be real, it is comforting and more attainable and realistic in this economy. And we're going to talk about this today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. All right, to go more in depth on this, I want to show you one of these creators. A guy that I really like and who I would credit with this whole, you know, realistic content taking off is named Hub's Life. And he is just a normal guy. Here is one of his most viral TikToks, and this is from last year. He is married, he has a house, he has a cute dog, he has a good, steady job. And that is what really, really irks people. But he, you know, he works out. He enjoys having a beer and watching the game after work. And he shows all of that in his quiet day in the life videos that he posts basically every day. They're very melodic. The music that he puts behind them are kind of like that lo-fi vibe. It's just like very calming. Like I can get lost in his videos just scrolling through them. And that's all. And all of his videos are like that. They are very simple and there is nothing wrong with anything that he showed. Some people might not want that life, but this is objectively a good life. But many people online do not see it that way. And his videos go viral and people lament online that men like him are the problem and that he is wasting his life or has a soul sucking existence. That is literally what they say about him. Like one guy posted that video on Twitter last year in 2023 and it got over 100 million impressions. And he quote tweeted it and said, this is basically selling your soul. It is so pointless. I mean, that is so dramatic. Just stop. Who are you guys? The internet is a very, very funny place. And if you don't have this cane, you are going to let them get to you. Let me know what you guys think about this. I have seen this video before and I don't see anything wrong with it. And like I said in my previous video, the guy is living a normal life that every other person lives. And if it's not a party goer, if it's not hosting parties here and there, I don't know what else he's supposed to include that video because what he included in that video is essentially what happens in every other person's life wake up in the morning grab your breakfast go to work go to lunch come back to work go back home and do some other choice before going back to bed i don't know what other lifestyle they want him to live or is he supposed to fake his everyday life before people can believe him let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section for me this is a regular normal life and the guy is not adding or removing anything but leave your thoughts in the comment section and Let's wrap this video up, you guys. And then just last week, another person on Twitter uploaded one of Hub's videos saying, this video was so depressing that I started tearing up watching it. And the comments went like this. Depressing. One of the most disturbing videos I have ever watched. My worst nightmare. This is making me sad. But if you get past <laughs> these types of replies, Ow. his comment section usually tells a completely different story. Wow. It is usually filled with hope and joy and people just enjoying his content, people defending him. And usually I see people that are yearning for this kind of life, again, because it is objectively a good and secure life. Somebody on Twitter said, what is wrong with this? Nice car, nice house, stable income, loving his life. Are we seriously yeah, at a course. point where you have to wear a Rolex and drive a $100,000 car 
hard to be yeah. relevant. Well, if you just live online 24 seven, you might think that that's not the real world. I don't think it ever will be. It certainly is not right now. That is not what you should be comparing your that's life so to. That watch costs more than your car. Somebody said he lives a comfortable life, which he's built for himself. He loves the life he lives. How is this selling your soul? Somebody said, this is what I want my life to look like when I graduate college. Another person said, I really want this life. Somebody else said, love this lifestyle. People make it seem like peace and consistency is bad. And if he's happy with it, that should be the only exactly. thing that matters. And we should not be tearing him down or saying that it is a soul-sucking existence because it's not something that you would want. And in the video that we watched, we only saw him go about his work day, but his videos and his life, it just gets so much better when you see him and his wife and the life that they are building together. Like, look at this video where he surprises his wife at her baby shower. They're about to have their first kid, which is just so amazing. Just watch this. His videos are also just like very well shot. He has great angles. Like, look at all, look at all of these people. Like, how can you watch that and say that this is a bad life? And their home is so nice. It's a nice home. Like, literally, there is nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. He has a beautiful life. It looks like they have a bright exactly. and vibrant and supportive community. Mm -hmm. They're about to have a baby. They both spend time with their parents on a regular basis, which people usually don't see in the videos that go viral. But like, this is the last one I'll show you, I promise. I think both of their parents live in the same town, so they spend time with them constantly, which is, again, it's just, it's wonderful. I have nothing else to say other than it is a good life. Somebody commented and said, you have a wife, a car, and a house at only 28. That is success and something to cherish. Yeah, I, mean, I completely agree. And all of that is literally a gift. Yeah. And it is something that people around the world could only dream of and something that a lot of people in our own country mm -hmm. want and that they crave. I mean, just look at his comment section and you will see that this is a life that people want. Matt Walsh apparently has the same Twitter feed that I do. And he saw all the negative comments about hubs on Twitter this weekend and lit it up last night, which I loved. The reactions to this guy's videos are so over the top and hysterical that I have to assume that everyone must be joking. It is literally just a video of a guy going to work, doing some errands, and then coming home. What is disturbing about it? What is he supposed to be doing every day? This is day-to-day -day life for almost everyone on the planet. If you profess to be disturbed by this, what does your daily routine look like? Is it really that much more exciting than this? Or do you find human existence itself to be miserable by its very nature? I think we just stumbled upon the problem here. And people started fighting with him, of course, and the guy that he was originally replying to said, the disturbing part is you finding this to be the condition of normal human existence. And Matt replied and said, going to work every day and doing basic errands is normal human existence. If you find the very idea repulsive, it means that you were either an uber wealthy elitist or a dysfunctional loser stuck in perpetual adolescence. You're gonna need a sensu for that one. Matt Walsh never fails to deliver a mic drop is what we have to learn from this. Now, do I believe that it is the best thing exactly. for humans to eat chilies and Jersey Mikes on a daily basis and spend the majority of their existence in an office building with fluorescent lighting? Of course not. That probably is not good for us. And I wish that I could wave a wand and just change that, but I can't because that's just our world right now. And some people get out of that and make that a priority and they find fulfillment and work elsewhere, which is fine and that's great for them. But for the majority of people, this is their normal life. This is every day and it is stable and it is secure and it offers them the freedom to be home at 4.30 or 5.30 when their kids are finished with school. It lets them provide for their families and go on vacation and spend time with their parents. Those are all good things. There is no reason for people to go online, sit behind their keyboards and look down on that and shame it because it is not your idea of what life should be. So just sit down because again, this is objectively a good life. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Brit Cooper. And I'm going to say that the guy in that video is living a life that is a dream to so many, especially people here in Africa. The key to have a slice of that lifestyle. That guy is successful. He's doing everything right that he's supposed to do at 28. And it will be a privilege, it will be an honor to have such a lifestyle that is very, very balanced, very secured and not toxic in any way. This is a very, very normal lifestyle that everyone should strive to live. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Do you think that there's anything odd about this video that we just watched for me it's very beautiful it was so many people are striving to become and kudos to the guy for achieving so much at the age of 28 because so many people even when they are 35 they haven't even done a quarter of what he has done let me know your thoughts in the comment section i really enjoyed every minute of this video and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys